Hi, I'm Gail Abrams, Executive Director of Piedmont Wildlife Center. Our mission is to inspire people to make a positive lifelong connection with nature and to actively engage in conservation. Our vision is that the youth and adults who come to our programs will actually learn to make different behaviors in their life to, that will impact the wildlife and environment um, in, a, in a positive way. Um, the youth that are come to our programs um, are going to be influencers at some point in their life and we hope that what they learn here they can take into that and make more action toward um, a healthier environment for all of us. The adults that come to our programs are already um, taking active part in their community and we want them to take what they've learned here and actually make a difference for the for the environment in the things that they do now. Um, our youth are um, experiencing our camp programs that are year-round as well as our after-school programs, uh, homeschool programs that we offer here year-round. Um, we also engage youth through our conservation programs at schools and in field trips um, and use our wildlife ambassadors to um, help really reach them in a, in a positive way so that they can get an upfront personal connection to those wildlife to see how they are impacted by what they do in their own in environment. Um, and, and we just hope that this engagement will um, continue throughout their life um, and they can make a difference um, to the environment and wildlife. Mud covered faces the joy and wonder from seeing a fence lizard run through the grass. Laughter entwined with smoke wafting through the woods from a friction firing camp. We are grateful every day that we get to share these sensations with people of all ages, genders, and cultures. We have been connecting kids and adults through our nature programs for years. Many come back to deepen their naturalist and survival skills in order to go out and share them with others. They work together to learn, build community, test their knowledge, and deepen their connection with nature. We have continued to grow all of these programs, especially those that are after school. Through grants and partnering with Durham, Chapel Hill Carborough, and now Orange County Schools, we were able to reach kids that would never come to our camps or maybe ever go outside and go into the woods outdoors at their house. They often start very apprehensive about going into the woods and think learning about nature is boring. But soon they see that learning about nature is not boring. They look forward to us coming every week. They go home happy, sweaty, and feeling a little lighter and able to focus on their school. More parents and schools want us to bring our program to them. We would also like to offer after school programs at our facilities since staffing many locations is a challenge. This would allow us to reach a wider range of students. One after school session per semester at one facility runs an hour and a half, two times a week for 10 weeks. It costs us $3,000 just for staffing at one school. Your support will allow us to impact kids' lives, build their self-confidence, give them a place they feel safe, happy, free, develop a deep nature connection and a desire to make our world a better place for us all. Thank you for your support. My name is Karen McCall. I'm the Director of Education. I'm Noelle Dalhouse and I'm the conservation educator here at Piedmont Wildlife Center. This is Bella, our Great Horned Owl Ambassador. She is a permanent resident here at Piedmont because she cannot fly. Unfortunately, somebody littered on the side of the road and that attracted mice to the side of the highway. When that happened, it set up a nice mouse buffet for Bella 
However, it also brought her in the direct path of an oncoming vehicle, causing her injured wing. Due to Bella's injury, she cannot be released. Here at Piedmont, we have over 50 dedicated volunteers that help maintain Bella's care and enrichment. It takes almost $10,000 a year to feed our raptors. By taking care of Bella, we can ensure that she is able to attend our programs and events in order to inspire the next generation of world changers. When children and adults hear Bella's story, they walk away feeling empowered to make a difference. My name is Sarah Steffen. I'm the Director of Conservation at Piedmont Wildlife Center. This is Vinny, the Eastern Box Turtle Ambassador. And at Piedmont Wildlife Center, we are a leader of box turtle research within North Carolina, and I serve as the Assistant Chair of the Box Turtle Connection Project. Eastern box turtles like Vinny are in decline throughout our state, but we know very little about them or their movements. They are an indicator species, so they can tell us whether an ecosystem is healthy or if it's not. The Box Turtle Connection Project actually researches box turtles throughout many sites in North Carolina so that we can collect more data on them. When you talk to people who have lived here for a long time, they tell you that they used to see box turtles everywhere and now they rarely see them. Even though they're in decline in North Carolina, there's no protection for these guys. So we need, as scientists, we need to do our best to collect data on them. That's why we need your support so that we can buy transmitters to track the eight turtles that we're studying in Lee Farm Park. We need money to market our Turtle Trekker Citizen Science Project so that we can raise awareness, we can educate the public, and then hopefully one day can convince legislators to be able to protect them. We also are trying to create photo recognition software so that if you find a box turtle like Vinny, you can take photos and then submit them to our Turtle Trekkers Project. So, that being said, we need your help to help Vinny stay wild. So the work that we do is, is really important in our shared uh, belief of protecting the environment and wildlife. We are really making a difference in, in people's lives and, and the biggest example is that of, of watching the kids that have actually grown up from our program as a five-year-old are now environmental activists, um, conservation educators, counselors in our own camp programs, uh, teachers in the uh, public school system, and um, we even have uh, graduate students that are doing research in wildlife. Um, and we need your help to continue those efforts um, by having you donate to one of our three areas, uh, education, conservation education, or conservation science. Our turtle trekker program is one of the top programs in the area um, statewide in, in, the, in the region. We are really learning more about box turtles um, as they disappear from the environment. Um, and what you do will make an impact on not only individual lives, but the lives of, of wildlife and the environment that we have around us. Thank you.